All right. So this is literally like my fourth attempt at making this video. And I hope that you guys can see me. Um, so I am outside right now and I'm on my moon and it's been a really intense day. But I've been really dropping in and celebrating and oh, they're here over here. So wait, sorry, I'm in there. Make sure my boobs aren't coming out. Um, so really interestingly enough, I came outside to do a little meditation with my moon and Mama Gaia. And that kitty shadow that was here the other day came over to visit. Um, that'd be cool if he comes back. Um, so here at the house, we have two outdoor cats from the neighbor. And it's Shadow and Chance. And Chance was always upstairs with me. And he actually love bit accidentally my nose. I have a little cat bite on my nose over here. Um, but the energy of Chance and the name Chance and the energy I share with him and then Shadow. You know, Shadow comes in when I'm down here and the element of Shadow. So just really awesome. Now, what did I do today to celebrate my moon and really be in this energy? Oh yeah, lady. So I'm more eye level. This is the jar. I was saying I'm making. Oop. <coughs> All right. Hopefully you're still recording. <laughs> this is the jar, and I didn't even know, but it has an M on it. And this is my sacred moon mud that I made for this moon cycle. And it has some soil from the earth here and grass and different essential oils for my moon. And um, yeah, it's so yummy. So early when I took a shower, I put this on my body and I gave myself an amazing breast massage gentle womb massage low back that felt so good it was so nourishing it i really felt you know when i i do these rituals for this very reason and it happens you know i when i do these practices i felt so connected so in touch with myself, so in touch with love, so connected to divinity and feeling the power of the goddess inside me. And especially where I'm noticing today, there's a lot of energy in me and just feeling like fiery, you know, um, and trying to maintain my peace all day. <laughs> and um, be peaceful and loving in all my relations has been a little extra work. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's been a really good day, um, but yeah, challenging. And I'm enjoying milking up the magic of my moon cycle and making magic moon mud. Um, it wasn't muddy enough. I really want to make it more muddy. It was perfect for giving myself a beautiful, sensual, magic moon massage um but i think i want it more muddy so i can like splat and hold it on me um so to do that you know i'm putting thickeners yes dirt from this ground and i put honey in it too from costa rica so yeah that's my exciting story well my second exciting story of the day so many exciting amazing things happened today it's been a really magical moon cycle and i love sharing this with all of you i hope that what comes through me in these videos contributes to others and um yeah it's like my highest intention and i'm so happy that i am back sharing and serving and connecting to community and myself and uh, yeah I just I feel like I'm back like I've been gone for two years with that depression and everything and oh, 
feels so good to be out of it. And, you know, it does take work and diligence, at least. I know for me, it wasn't just like I woke up one day and all of a sudden I wasn't depressed anymore. Um, yeah, ritual routine and getting really real with myself and taking my emotional and mental health care to a whole other level and diving into it. So I want to give a lot of credit to Scott Katanis and Love Coach Academy. Like, I can't say it enough. My work with Scott, both individually, I do private coaching with him, and then I've taken a bunch of his classes, and now I'm an active part of the Love Coach Academy and our daily conversations and events. Actually going to be starting a show with three other amazing coaches. Um, we will be launching and presenting our first show on Tuesday with the theme of preciousness. So keep an eye out for that. Mark your calendar. Tuesday is going to be Precious Tuesday this Tuesday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And let others know it's going to be amazing. And, you know, this, our intention for this is to really make it interactive. And y your precious self, your precious views are so valuable, are so counted, are so wanted, so needed. And so we're going to get really creative. And your participation is vital to the intentionality of the work and um, I hope that we create a beautiful safe container for everybody to come and play with us in their preciousness. Yeah. <coughs> Somebody sent me a message today kind of joking back saying I love how you grab your shirt all the time to make sure it's Facebook appropriate. And so now every time I grab my shirt, I laugh. Um, all right. Bye, beauties.